Happy Thursday. Hope you're staying cool because it is summertime in Lake Havasu City. If you're going to be outside, here's a little piece of advice for work or for play. Please pour on the fluids to keep yourself hydrated. Mission measures. Loving. That's our mission measure that we want to talk about. How am I treating others with kindness and respect? Ephesians 6, 1 through 4 says this, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor or respect your father and your mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, to your, so that your days may be long here on earth. Then the verse I really want to lean into is verse 4. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Remember, Paul is referring to the Jewish household culture. Most of the fathers ruled their houses with what I grew up with, an iron fist, my way or the highway, very rigid, demanding and domineering authority. I was not allowed to question instructions at all. I was told to be seen and not heard, and to do exactly what I was told to do. You see, Paul's words of encouragement here are to the parents, especially the fathers. Raise your children to love and respect God and to love each of your parents. Discipline usually had a negative context in the Anderson household. Not a loving, not a teaching, not a caring, not a nurturing environment. I started out raising my children the way that I had been taught and raised. God then surrounded myself with godly men who had gentle spirits. And as the scripture says, they gave me godly instructions from God's holy word. Then the most amazing woman God provided for me, Claudia Rose, came into my life 31 years ago and helped me grow and learn how to not provoke our children to anger or rebellion. You see, followers of Christ and members of Calvary family, I want to encourage you to become a loving person and treat your family and kids with love and respect. By the way, lose the saying, do as I say, not as I do. Stop being a hypocrite in your household and be the mighty men and women of God that God has called you to be. Loving, caring. Will you join me in prayer? Father, thanks. Thanks for loving us. Thanks for giving us parents to raise us. Thanks for giving us your word that guides us and teaches us how to live and what to believe, Father. And I pray that there'd be a great, great day for all those who are listening today. In Jesus' strong name we pray, amen. Hey, I hope you have a great week. Looking forward to seeing each of you in worship this weekend or joining us online. God bless you and bye-bye.